my present duty to declare the national entrepreneurship and innovations plan duly launched. This is where the journey started after His Excellency, the President of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Adu, launched the National Entrepreneurship and Innovations Plan. This is the first time in recent times that a deliberate, systematic, integrated national policy has been instituted to support early startup and small businesses. NEIP signed a memorandum of understanding with private incubation hubs to train the business support program applicants. NEIP launched an online application processes where about 7,000 Ghanaian applied. NEIP support program. All the 7,000 were taken through a comprehensive and vigorous training across the 10 regions of Ghana, which is also another form of support. Creative director, very much use. Na training here, na yeba ye imaniya jehumpa. So ye bookkeepings, and I see ye swing new ideas. Ah, ye be timia buwa ye na ye di aku ye nim. And timi di di se ni mabu siya ni nei. E di fasodi ye be ma bare ma shoes. E ni e ne e ni watch na. Thank you. My name is Samson Siseno, CEO of Ragazu Ceiling Ventures. We are into plasterboard ceiling, POP ceiling, and ceiling decorating. We are working in the construction industry. My name is Sandra Oswald and I'm proud to be a shoemaker. The training was done by private incubation hubs which were mandated to recommend applicants for funding and also help in monitoring of applicant business after they were funded. Personally, I have learned how to pitch my business and what I need, the essentials I need to have a better pitch to have the right investors invest in my business. I've learned so much with iSpace and I'm so grateful to the government for this opportunity. It's not a passive way. We do it in a um, region of clothing, that is the Northern Kinti. I was invited by MDA for training for six weeks. And naturally, I've learned a lot concerning the business model canvas. I didn't have any idea about that. His Excellency the President, Nanado Dankwe Kufuado believes that young people in this country must work if we are to attain Ghana beyond aid. Job creation is very critical to the agenda of this government and that's the focus and mandate of the NEIP. At the moment, we have trained 7,000 applicants throughout the country in the various hubs that we have and we are happy to announce that we have selected 1,350 to receive financial support, which will range from 10,000 Ghana cities to 100,000 Ghana cities, depending on the nature and capacity of these individual businesses. This is not free money. We believe that with the training and the knowledge that we have given to these businesses, they'll be able to turn their abilities around and through innovation, help to create jobs in the private sector. We hope to create nearly or over 30,000 jobs within the next few months and within the next one year in the private sector with this incentive that we're giving to the private sector. The job creation agenda of the president is on course and we believe that very soon everybody will testify that indeed His Excellency Nana Adodankwe Kufuado has fulfilled his mandate of helping create jobs 
and improving on the entrepreneurship ecosystem in this country where having ideas is not enough but translating your business ideas and innovations into reality. Thank you very much. Um, His Excellency President Nakufado is committed to the growth and development of indigenous Ghanaian businesses. This commitment is expressed in the establishment of NEP to support businesses with business advisory services and funding. Under NEP, we try to support thousands and thousands of Ghanaians, especially the youth, not only to have the ability and confidence to create businesses, but to ensure that businesses grow. The rate of business formation is very important in determining the growth of the economy. And under NEP, this is what we intend to do. The program we have today is therefore in line with President Kufado's commitment, real practical commitment to ensure that Ghanaian businesses grow, expand and employ people. At the end of the day, the President's aim is to help create jobs and improve livelihoods. Thank you.